He's changing the colors on everything? Oh, yes, indeed. He may be bitchy, but his berry sparkles are the best. Hi! <laughs> Hi. But I thought your berry sparkles only worked on berries. His sparkles work on everything. We've never seen anything like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Oops. Thank you. You're welcome. Harvest is just one day away. If he does tomorrow what he's doing today, what could happen? Oh my, I don't want to say. Uh oh. Just like at the cafe. Oh, no one will know which flavor of berry juice is which. What if I was to baby berry can sit for a day? <laughs> hmm. That would be a big help. It would save the harvest. But I couldn't ask. Such a large task. I'd be happy to, Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. <laughs> that is, if we can catch him. I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell, ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! yeah! Can-do spirit. Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. 
stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Oh, dear. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> The highest fruit tower in very many worlds. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and snacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. <laughs> Quick! Let's hide in here! Oh, I don't know if I can fit! I'll help you. Try back again! Lemon, we're going to find them. Oh, Strawberry, what would we do without you? You always tell us everything is.
is going to be okay. I only hope it is. Ah! 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 Sadiebug, Katiebug, what's wrong? Do you know something about the pets? We lost the tea sandwiches and the puffs! Puffs? We've been finding and picking those up all afternoon. You cleaned up our puff trail? Well, sure. Puff it in, puff it out. Oh, oh, strawberry. Princess, any... <sighs> I see. Guys, look! The sun is going down, and we still haven't found Pupcake and Custard. What if we never find them? And I lost Mr. Longface and Berry Can Bloom. <laughs> It's behind me! Coming for us! Wherever you are, I hope you're okay. What if they're somewhere where we can't find them? How could they be lost? They know their way around. But maybe they're terribly lost. <gasps> Maybe just too tired to come home, but they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? <laughs> Strawberry, are you just the night air uh, making me... Sniffle! <laughs> oh, Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but I'm just so scared I won't find them. And, and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them. But I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away. Not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! <laughs> We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. And if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Barry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Pop cake! Under there. <laughs> 